welcome to Windark's Best Life. In this week's episode, I'm gonna show you a few things you should do in beautiful Barbados. My name is Linda Huang, and I'm a Canadian blogger and now video blogger sharing about my life. Tune in each week as I do something. <laughs> I'll try things you might want to try, visit places you might want to visit, and eat food you might want to eat. I hope you join me as I do life. We headed to beautiful Barbados in 2021 for a fertility treatment and to experience the island for the very first time. We were actually there when Barbados became a republic, removing itself from the Commonwealth. It was pretty historic. Rihanna was named a national hero. May you continue to shine like a diamond and bring honor to your nation. We spent most of our time in Bridgetown, Barbados on the southwest side of the island, though we did venture out to other areas during an island tour, which I'll tell you more about in a moment. If you're headed to this Caribbean country, here's a few things you should do. One, hit the beach, obviously. During our stay, we were just a few minutes walk away from Rockley Beach, a beautiful beach with cool white sand and pretty calm waters for swimming or bobbing in the waves. We spent almost every day during our trip at the beach. You can rent chairs or lay down beach towels. At the Tiki Bar, they have a deal where you can get chairs and a food or drink credit. It's worth noting that Rockley Beach is almost all sand to water, whereas some other beach areas we visited were quite rocky. Rockley Beach also has a beautiful boardwalk about a kilometer in length that you've gotta walk. I can't tell you enough how nice it is to walk on Barbados sand. Even on super hot days, the sand was cool to touch. Two, check out Oyston's Fish Market. On Friday and Saturday night, this is the place to be on the island. You'll find dozens of food stands serving all sorts of fish, including one of Barbados' national dishes, flying fish, along with swordfish, marlin, and legendary fish cakes for just $3.75 with cheese. You'll usually find live entertainment here too. Three, check out the Animal Flower Cave on the north end of the island. This is one of Barbados' oldest and coolest attractions home to an amazing, natural, and very Instagrammable cave. This natural sea cave is formed by crashing waves of the Atlantic Ocean over thousands of years. The name refers to the sea anemone found in the pools of the cave. I'm on record as being claustrophobic, but this cave was open enough, sky and sea visible enough, that I didn't feel scared. Four, go bar and restaurant hopping in St. Lawrence Gap. This area is well known for nightlife in Barbados. During our visit, we ended up hopping to three different spots. First, drinks on the rooftop patio at The Dive. Then, nachos from Sharky's. Finally, our main meal at Harlequin's, where we had kingfish and snapper. The service here is amazing. During our visit, the island had only just begun reopening after pandemic restrictions, so things never felt overly crowded during our stay, but we were told that streets typically get crowded here. <laughs> Five, go on a catamaran cruise. If you're trying to decide on an excursion while on the island, do what we did. Head out onto the Caribbean Sea via catamaran. Most catamaran cruise operators are highly rated and take similar routes. Your main differences are how big the boat is, whether it's a short or longer day, and if you get food and drinks. Our five-hour cruise with El Tigre Catamaran Cruises was amazing. We made three stops, including swimming with turtles, swimming over shipwrecks, and docking for a meal overlooking celebrity mansions. Six, do an island tour. During our stay, we hired a driver to take us on a tour of the island. Barbados is divided into 11 parishes, which are like states or provinces, and you can drive through all of them in a day. On our tour, we went through 10 of the 11 parishes. You can, of course, plan to spend more time in each location, but we mostly just wanted to see the island with a few Instagrammable stops along the way. A lot of the northern and eastern sides of the island felt more lush and country-like than the western side. We drove past sugarcane fields, farm fields, saw how Barbadians live beyond the touristy areas, and even saw Rihanna's mansion. Seven, see the rocks of Bathsheba. One of our stops during our island tour was specifically at Bathsheba. These are giant rock formations that sit along the eastern coast of the island. 
There's also this cool little abandoned pink house on this one rock. Eight, watch the sunset. We try to do this almost every night during our stay. The sky can get so very purple. It's incredible. Find a beachfront patio and enjoy food while the sun sets in beautiful Barbados. Nine, eat all the food. We ate a lot in Barbados and a lot of it was fresh fish. I actually did a video all about food to try in Barbados, so please do watch that. It's episode 17. But basically, oceanfront views, fun drinks, lots and lots of fish, that was how we dined in Barbados. Note, dolphin on the menu in Barbados is not the dolphin you're thinking of. It's dolphin fish. Try traditional dishes like south, only available on Saturdays. Or try clifftop dining at Champers. This is considered one of the pricier, fancier restaurants on this side of the island. There's a food truck square you can go to, and don't forget to try fish cutters from Cuz's Fish Stand. We also snapped some fun photos of the most Instagrammable cafe in Barbados, Blush, where you can also order cute drinks, waffles, and tacos. And 10, try to get pregnant. Okay, this is a very specific thing to do in Barbados, but it is the reason Mike and I were there. We tried IVF at the Barbados Fertility Clinic. It's a wonderful spot with great success rates and lovely staff, and we did really have a wonderful experience even though we did not get pregnant. We'll be returning to try IVF transfer from frozen embryos later in 2022. You can learn more about Procreation Vacations and our experience in Barbados in episode 12 of my video blog. Thanks for watching this episode of Lindork Does Life. I hope it helps you plan your trip to Barbados. Be sure to check out my other Barbados videos and blogs on my website too. Bye!